G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes this is video well it's not really 100 but it is 100 in this series which started off doing package delivery runs and yeah. So um, here we are and I'm actually going to buy the C2 Hercules Starlifter for 4.925 million AUEC. Oh my god. Um, now why am I doing this? Uh, two reasons. Well, one major reason. I've heard in the interviews with the devs and everything like that from Star Citizen that they're going to kind of change everything in the next patch. And um, yeah, so I thought, well, if they're going to start introducing cargo stuff, then obviously these vessels, as you can see here, which is fucking enormous, is going to go up in price. I'm expecting that. Um, so that's the first reason why I wanted to do it. And the second reason was to actually see how fast actually I could get, um, I could pay off the ship. Let's say it like that. How fast can I make 4.9 something million? And um, you'll see in the next coming videos how fast that will actually be. Don't worry, I won't bore you all senseless. But for the moment, this is the first one. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to head off to um, Weller. I'm going to head off to our corp. Was it 54, 45, something like that? Our corp mining that one. And I'm trying to, well, I'm going to, hopefully, uh, fill this whole ship up with um, Laronite. But also, too, <laughs> it really depends how much is there. But let's take a look at this one as we're spinning around. It's a nice ship. And I must admit, it did come up very, very quickly. If I um, compare these to, let's just say, some of the other larger ships in the game, it takes fucking forever for them to just go straight up. But this one kind of, yeah, it's very responsive. So here we go, folks. We are coming in for our landing. Uh, it's, I think, a couple kilometers away. So hopefully my computer will render it. I'm also seeing it struggling at the bottom of the screen at the moment with all the um, other textures and stuff. So I hope this isn't just a, um, a preview of what's to come. Hopefully not, but we will see. So here's the landing pad. It's coming up in the distance. It better be, or is it just a bloody shadow? No, here it is. It just spawned. There you go. And it looks like there's another ship there, which is always concerning. So the, the, I am going to do a bit of a career in trucking. Now, I will go on the record and say that I've got absolutely no idea how to do this properly. So there's probably a lot more people who are watching who can do this far better than I can. Um, I'm just hoping I don't blow up the ship on the first time I land it or crash it, um, as it seems to be a bit of a um, tradition for me. But we will see. So I've got the landing gear down, I think. Got to be bloody careful. This thing is far... Oh, I can't see shit. Fucking dust storm. Ah, uh, come on. Is it down? Uh, that's okay. No, not really. Okay, that's down. And... Ah, oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> ah, Ev. You idiot. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Go a little bit. It can just barely fit on the fucking thing. Okay, okay, okay. Now move the mouse. No, no, that was. There you go. Okay. That's down. It didn't blow up. I don't want to see the repair bill. But, um. <laughs> Jesus, it just fit on this one. Holy crap. That's huge. I mean, I've, I've flown this ship before, so I know what to expect, but. Yeah, this is different. Okay, so for those of you that are wondering what everything looks like inside, I'm going to put on the top, um, I don't know, right hand, left hand side of the screen, wherever YouTube lets me, um, a video of another one, or another time, I should say, when I've flown this ship, so you guys can actually see the interior. Hasn't changed, to be very honest with you. I was actually thinking about if I should show you guys or not, but then I'm just saying, going, nah, I've done another video. You guys can see that if you're that desperate to see it. But um, yeah, this ship doesn't have much. It's got like a habitation area and it's got like a recreation area. So I think you could actually add more stuff here, but it's got what it needs. What I would really have liked for this one to have like some type of a star map or something like that as they're doing the bigger ships, but they 
What, what can I say? Yeah, that's all right. We'll see. Maybe they'll sh revise the ship's interior in a later patch or something like that. So let's put this one up to the top deck. And let's try not to fall down at the same time. So that goes up. What is, okay, that goes up too. And I'm guessing it closes. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's how the elevator works. Now, I don't know if I'm going the right bloody way. Oh, no, no, it is. I can see the orange lights. So this is always a, let's just say, I always don't like coming to this one because I know that I'm going to fall on my ass coming out of it. There is a way to stop that, and I'll hopefully show you that. But um, yeah, it's always buyer beware at this point. So there are some crates on the ground. That's fine. We're not interested in that at the moment. I'll go looting later if I need to. How much Laronite? 283 SCU of Laronite. Very nice. Now let's see if this same problem exists like it does all the other times. Yep, click the buy button and yeah, confirm and failed. Always does this. So they might show us 283 there, but really it's 282. And of course it won't let you fucking just go to the one before it, does it? No. Pain in the ass of a thing. Yeah, so you kind of have to do it like this. So you do, come on. Ah, you mongrel. Sorry, folks, I've never <laughs> really had to deal with it at a, such high volumes, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to buy this in stages. And again, this is a game thing. It's not an Evan thing here. Trust me on this one. So, yeah, 13 is going to go to 14. Yep. So confirm that. It's painful, but this is kind of what you have to do at the moment. I hope they fix this one in the next patch. So what have we got? 40.51%. Lovely. And we're back again because I was hoping I would get more. But see, look, there's 42 CSCU. So not SCU, CSCU. So that means um, it's still not refreshed yet with the Laronite. So what the hell am I going to do? Do I sit around and wait for hours and hours and hours for it to refresh again? Or do I just do something else? And you know what? For the sake of it, I'm going to say fuck it. I'm going to actually go off and um, I might take the diamond. I think that might be a better option. Waste is not going to help me. Aluminium and tungsten, I know from the mining, is pretty much no way. Quartz, mm -hmm. not really. But diamond, you can kind of get something for it at least. So I think we'll just do that. So Ev, whenever you want to, thank you very much. Let the game catch up. So we will just see if we can, I think we'll get all of the diamond. Yeah, okay, so 414 or 465, that's all right, 1.641 million. So starting off, we had, I think it was 9.3 million, I think we had in the um, bank. Now, if all goes well and we don't lose anything, we should come back with a bit of a profit. How much? I don't know yet. So. As I mentioned earlier about falling to my death, if you crouch and walk out, there is a better opportunity of you not flying away, falling down and getting yourself killed, or at least pretend killed, as the game sometimes does to me at this particular location. So there you go, there's a helpful hint. We'll just call the elevator. We'll sit back and wait for it. This is the only drawback about this. It takes a bit of time to get in. Uh, but I am happy the elevator works. So we'll go to the top deck, obviously, but we'll turn around and we'll actually see the cargo on the middle deck or the lower deck. Well, there you go. Those are huge containers. All right, so I'm not going to go walking around and inspecting the cargo. I'm, I'm going to put some trust that it's all there. Uh, but if you like for me to do that, maybe in the next video, I'll just have myself walking around. We can all have a look at it. But for now, because I'm quite nervous about having so much in-game currency tied up into cargo so anyway folks i'm going to do some movie magic here and i will see you in the clouds of area 18 and here we go clouds i hate flying in clouds and you know what annoys me is i don't know where the hell i'm going i was following this ship on the marker but that's not the landing area what the hell is this place I've never seen that before. 
Um, there's a ship there, or at least a player of some kind. You know what? As much as I want to go exploring, I'm not going to with the amount of investment I have made into this cargo. So we'll come back at a later point in time. So where the hell is it? Where, where do I have to go now? Um, I think I'll just fly this way. Maybe. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll come back and we'll find it at a different point. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's actually quite agile. I mean, have a look at it. I'm just turning it like I would normally. Not as agile as the Aurora, of course. But um, yeah, it's not too bad, I must admit. It's very responsive, let's just say that. If you compare this to a freelancer, eh, this is far more responsive, which I really like. Okay, so we are waiting contact a traffic control. Where is it? Area 18 landing service. Press the button. Ah, there's the marker. Hey, okay, that works. What? Where the hell does it want me to land? Surely not. The ship won't fit in there. Are they fucking kidding? It can't fit in that. That's too small. Nah, there's going to be something... Nah. Hang on. No, it's not... No. Alright, I'm... No, 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 it can't be there. It has to be on the other side. It has to be on the other side. Alright, let, let's have a look on the other side. Uh, is that it? Okay, that's a bit better. Whew. For a second, I thought they were going to have us landing in a spot where we couldn't actually land. That would be typical, really. But, alright. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever landed this thing at Area 18 before. Uh, this is going... Okay, folks. Beware for the beginner here. Uh, landing gear is down. That's good. I'll put the ass of it down. Put the nose up a little bit so I don't, like, crash it again. Uh, this is going to take a bit of practice. Um, top view. Does that help? Okay, yeah, go a bit more forward, Ev, because you're going to smash the back of it. All right. Down. Maybe a little bit of forwardness as well. Straighten him up. All right. Kind of looks okay. Nose is high. That's good. Let's go down. All right. Not too much with the acceleration there, Ev. Let's see. Is this going to be a good landing? Oh, no. Fucked it. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I was doing so well. There you go, folks. Okay. It's down. All right. Whew. Let's have a look and see what this is going to actually bring us back. So remember 9.3 million before we um, sold or bought the stuff, I should say. Now we're going to sell it. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. Diamond brings in more now. Okay. Might be going for diamonds. Uh, Laronite, there was a little bit of profit, but not much. I mean, there is profit. Don't get me wrong. All right. Let's have a look. Come on. I want to see this. What's it going to bring me up to? 1.78 million. That's not too bad. Um, that makes it 9.62. So I'd say 250-ish. Not bad. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching. Let's see what happens in the next one.